Hello. My name is Bill Mayer, and I'm a naturalist that does programs from time to time at the Parenton Community Center. Today I'm at Whitebrook Nature Area, and we're going to be looking uh, for frogs here. Uh, this is on April 2nd, and it's, it's early spring, but there's a few species of frogs that are already breeding, and they come to places like this. Uh, this is a, a, a pond that's going to be here all year, but they also uh, will breed in ponds that are just temporary, that are only going to be uh, have have water in them until about mid June or late June, and then they're going to dry away, and and uh, hopefully by then the the tadpoles have emerged into adults and are on their way into uh, to their frog lives. So anyways, here's uh, one pond, and I'm going to try to find some frogs in in just a moment. Okay. We're on our way towards the back part of that pond, and I stopped here to listen a little bit. You can hear the sound of northern leopard frogs, and the chorus is nice and loud. We're going to walk past these trees and uh, approach the pond, and, and hopefully we can find some frogs. Okay, here's our first northern leopard frog. It just moved into the stream habitat a few minutes ago. Looks like it might sing. What you do here are spring peepers. They're singing from this vernal pond that's behind me in some woods. Northern leopard frogs and spring peepers are very early spring uh, breeders. They'll start at the end of March. Oh, there, got, there he goes. Anyhow, they will keep singing until about mid-May. Spring peepers going a little bit longer. Okay, here's another one. This one gives us a great chance to take a look at the coloration. So you can see why they're called leopard frogs by the wonderful spots. There's the singing sex uh, inflating on either side. Northern leopard frogs are distinguished from pickerel frogs by the fact that the spots are rounded and they come in rows, two rows on the back in between those white lines. But by far, uh, leopard frogs are more common in our area. If you see something zigzagging through the grass, it's probably a northern leopard frog. There's a couple of frogs that just moved into the area. The one on the left looks like it's singing. Let's see if they interact at all. Sometimes you don't know whether they're males or females when they're in the water like this. So. Might be chasing each other off, or maybe there's a female around and they're chasing after her. So we're looking at some northern leopard frog eggs, or egg masses, all along the banks of this little uh, flowage here, <laughs> this little stream that drains one of the ponds at Whitebrook. And there's all these little masses of, of leopard frog eggs all along the bank here. So they've had a good season, it looks like, um, which is great to see. And the, the masses of, of eggs, you look close, you can see individual eggs, and uh, here's the size of my hand. <laughs> it's all a little overlit, but um, you see the little black dots in there, those are the, the embryos, and they're gonna hatch into tadpoles very soon. And the, one of the advantages of having these clumps is that uh, they'll heat up better in the sunlight so they kind of form this nice mass that heats up when the sun shines on it and that helps the development of the embryos. So uh, a good year for, for leopard frogs here at Whitebrook and uh, I found a really good spot here. Anyways, here's one right now. There's a leopard frog just hanging out. This one has been very cooperative singing. 
sings while I'm talking, I'm just I'm gonna be really impressed. So the key for seeing these close up is patience. I came to this pond and I could see frogs and they all took off. So then I waited probably about 10 minutes and they all started to come back. And eventually they started to sing. All right, looks like he's ready. Let's zoom in. Look at those eyes. Just beautiful. If you look close, you can see its nostrils on the end, right the, near the tip. Well, there you have it, Northern Leopard Frog, White Brook Nature Area. And this is the end of the video here. On a beautiful sunny day, April 2nd, out here at White Brook to study the Northern Leopard Frog. And maybe uh, an upcoming episode will be finding some spring peepers and some other guys too.